Ali, where are you going? I am through Egypt this night and smile on the first.
Hallelujah, it's all well. In the Hallelujah, I you all, friends and family, uh, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, uh, before we start our program, we may close our eyes for a word of prayer. Okay. So, uh, let's pray. Let's close our eyes for a word of prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you this morning once again for this precious time that you have given us, O oh God. We commit the program into your hands as the writer, uh, the singer, sang a song. Unless the God built the house, the builders built it in vain. Come down, Lord God, and take us through the program. We commit everything in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ as we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. So we greet you uh, once again in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, I believe each and every one of us has got a program uh, how we are going to conduct this program. Amen. We thank God. Uh, we welcome all our visitors all the way uh, from Kadoma, Zimbabwe. We have uh, Baba among us. Uh, Father to Jokers, we may know Kumbirai, Musumuke Baba. We request you to stand up so that we greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We bless pray prayers for you. God bless you. God bless you once again. We also want to thank Mama, who has come and us for the program. Uh, Mama Rosie, may you stand up on the feet. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you very much. We have also Mama Mazivanyika, the mother to Andon. God bless you, Mama. Welcome. Welcome. We also want to thank God. Uh, we have also him that. See you. God bless you, Sister Alma, and Brother. God bless you. May God richly bless you and your wife there. She's around. Thank you. Thank you very much. Amen. We also want to thank uh, the family, the children, to Doka.
even before I even got my suitcase in the house, there was somebody there, and I had them sit down on the sand park. I hadn't even talked about family since then. And it's, it's really a strain, and I got that to lift your horse prayers for me, <laughs> that the Lord would help me to hold up. Now, your brother here, real, real sick man on cot, and we, uh, someone coming in a little bit wild for us to go to the Lord. Well, I want you to remember the prayer, too, of <clears throat> fine young lady. That she is about 18 years old. She's a twin. And a uh, Christian girl in school. And the other girls would talk about her, you know, the two girls and tell them that how they were, what part of life they were missing and how they should uh, live like the rest of the girls. And one girl was able just to override it. This other one had a complex, and she felt real bad about it. And just kept going away and drifting uh, farther back and worrying about it. And by she's got a mental breakdown, and they, uh, she's in an insane ward. The mother and father's coming just a little bit from Crandall, Indiana, <clears throat> to go over to this institution where they're going to try to send her to Madison tomorrow. Now, the uh, the girl, there's no physical uh, break in the girl. She, there's nothing physically. She's perfectly healthy. But it's uh, hard to explain it. And it really cannot be explained. But what it is, her spirit has wandered. Thing. Uh, you you got to catch her spirit and bring it back. See, the place, see there's, there's, we just got through speaking here a few weeks ago on how that the human system operates, how that there's five senses that you enter the body by, and then uh, five avenues, we call it. Five avenues, such as conscience, imagination, and so forth, we enter the soul by. And then when you enter the spirit, there's only one avenue, and that is through self-will, which bases it back like man was created, you can receive it or you can just let it go. You can accept Christ as Savior or just let him go. And you're still for that tree, that one of life and one of death. Every human being is set before that tree or God would be unjust to put one there and then not give the other one the equal chance to, re to choose right or wrong. And each one of us has that opportunity. Also in that, the Spirit we can be healed or we cannot be healed. Now, it's not because that there's not, that we haven't been healed according to God, we have. For the covenant is unconditional, and he has already purchased our healing. Therefore, our healing is, is to us. It's ours. Now, it's whether we will take this avenue to believe it or this avenue to just uh, not believe it. Now, there's only that one way we can walk in to the presence of God. Now, this child, beautiful, her mother's a girlfriend. I, I always be one of my girlfriends. She was a nice little lady, come out of a real street Nazarene home, sweet little girl. And she got a lovely husband. I know him too real well, boy at Mary. And she just, they raised those children to serve the Lord. And, um, put them in school, and they were really grounded in Christ, not to do the things that's wrong. But there, when just on a break, just like I looked just a few moments ago and gazed back to a little boy, I had the very same thing, exactly. And that, uh, we went out there one night, Brother Wright and Arbel was just, just in a complete break. And he, you know, when he tried to run me out of the house, as good a friend as Arbel and I are, <laughs> real, like I'd be his father, I married his father and mother together, and he just jump up and scream, get out of here, get out of here, get out of here, see? Now what we had to do there was go out into the line of spirit and catch that boy's spirit, see? A lot of grief had come to his little heart, he's young, and he's a lot, and just brought him right back to the place where he should be, you see? In a few days, he was, he was all right. Now that's the same thing you got to do on this. I have seen it, and I know that it is true. But now, just I, I request you all to pray now that, that God will help me 
to find this little girl out into a place where she don't know where she's at, then bring her back to her place. That avenue comes to faith. See, she can't have faith for herself. She don't know where she's at or anything. See. It's got to take our faith here. And now, in that, that power of the resurrection of Christ, which he gives us the opportunity, uh, that's where you, in one way, the word of God pierces the sinner. And it has to go beyond the preaching of the word going forth. That's the reason I wanted to speak a little bit this morning before praying for the sick. Remember the vision not long ago the Lord gave me? You know, about seeing the other side. You remember that morning when I was testifying about seeing the other side? Well, that was true. And the full gospel businessman's voice has published that article, put a picture on the back of the page here. And it's got a little inject down here at the bottom, a little part here at the bottom speaking of the ministry, which this is a international paper printed in many different languages. And they um, dedicated the front page and the first on that vision. See? And I got them up here and I wish you would uh, pick up one and you could um, uh, read it. Yep, I didn't know how many would be down with the brethren this morning. And, you, uh, and if you happen to say one, we'll just go to the office. They have them there at the office. And uh, they let us have a group of them about keep pressing on. See? And that's all in my heart. All I can hear is keep pressing on. Just beyond the, the river, there is a, a better land. And let's keep pressing till we meet that land. Now, uh, I think they got here a dedication of Brother Stricker, Mr. Stricker's little one. So that, uh, I mean, that make now, Sister Sugar, six little fellows. That's a lovely little family. And uh, so they are with our missionaries over in, in Africa recently to return back. And all their children's three little fellows, and I can see this one is also as they're bringing it up this morning for our dedication service. Where is pity? That's uh Teddy, would you come up here to the piano just a minute, son, and let's uh, have our song, a little song. You know that little song I believe we sang, Bring Them In, is that right? Bring Them In from the Fields of Sin. And that's the reason we play this, is because that we, with all that we can, parents, bring them for dedication. We're dedicating them to the Lord and bringing them in. While they're yet babies, that they'll not stray out into that field of sin. Bring them in. That's just, you know what, Teddy, let's just think one verse of it. Bring them in. Thank you. 
before she was born. And, uh, a beautiful little child. Where do you come from, Netflix? I do not know, but it was unlike any vision I have ever had. I could see the place to which I was taken, and I could see myself lying back there upon my bed. I said, this is a strange thing. There were great numbers of people, and they came running to me, crying, oh, our precious brother. First came young women, apparently in their early 20s, and as they would embrace me, they said, our precious brother, young men in the brilliance of young manhood with eyes glistening like stars on a darkened night with teeth as white as pearls embrace me saying, our precious brother. Then I noticed that I too had, the, had become young again. I looked at myself there and turned and looked back at my old body lying on the bed with my hands behind my head. I said, I don't understand this. As I began to try to comprehend the place where I was, I began to realize that there was no yesterday and no tomorrow there. No one seemed to get tired. 
as a multitude of the most beautiful young women I have ever seen threw their arms around me, I discovered there was only a great love that overwhelmed me and no physical attraction as in the human behavior. I noticed these young women all wore their hair down to their waistline and their skirts went down to their feet. After this, Hope, my first wife, hugged me and said, my precious brother. Then another young woman hugged me and Hope turned and hugged the young woman. I said, I don't understand this. This is something entirely different from our human love. I don't want to go back to that old body on the bed. Then a voice spoke to me. This is what you preach that the Holy Ghost is. This is perfect love. Nothing can enter here without it. Next, I was taken up and seated on a high place. All around me were great numbers of men and women to, in the bloom of youth. They were crying with joy, Oh, our precious brother, we are so happy to see you here. I thought, I'm not dreaming, for I can see these people and I can see my body lying back there on the bed. The voice spoke to me, You know it is written in the Bible that the prophets were gathered with their people. I said, Yes, I remember that in the scriptures. But there are not this many Branhams. The voice replied, These are not Branhams. These are your these are your converts, the ones you have led to the Lord. Some of these women you think are so young and beautiful were more than ninety years old when you led them to the Lord. No wonder they are crying out, my precious brother. Then the multitude cried together, If you hadn't gone forth with the gospel, we wouldn't be here. I asked, Oh, where is Jesus? I want to see him. The people replied, He is just a little higher. Someday he will come to you. You are sent as a leader, and when God comes, he will judge you according to your teaching. I asked, Does Paul and Peter have to stand this judgment also? The answer was yes. I said, I have preached what they preached. I did not divert from it to one side or the other. Were they baptized in the name of Jesus? I did too. Were they taught the baptism in the Holy Spirit? I did too. Whatever they taught, I taught also. We know that, the people cried, and we know that we are going back to earth with you sometime. Jesus will come and judge you according to the words you preached us. Then you will present us to him, and all together we will go back to earth to live forever. I asked, do I have to go back to earth now? They answered, yes, but keep pressing on. As I began to move from that beautiful, joyful place, as far as my eyes could see, people were coming towards me to embrace me, crying, my precious brother. Suddenly I was back on the bed again. I said, oh, God, help me. Never let me compromise with the Word. Let me stay straight on the Word. I don't care what anyone else does, Lord. Let me press on to that beautiful, joyful place. I am more convinced than ever in my life that it will take perfect love to enter that place. There was no jealousy, no tiredness, no sickness, no old age, no death, only supreme beauty and joy. Hallelujah. Whatever you do, lay aside everything else until you get perfect love. Get to where you can love everybody, even every enemy. No matter if the plane is rocking, the lightning is flashing, or the guns of the enemy are upon you, these things do not matter. Get perfect love. If you are not saved, accept Jesus Christ as your Savior now. If you have not been baptized in water, be baptized now. If you have not received the baptism in the Holy Spirit, receive it now. Press on in that perfect love, which will take you to that beautiful and joyful place beyond the curtain of time. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. That's, I thought maybe some of you would get to read it. And uh, if you haven't got the little book, well, uh, you can have it. And at the right at the bottom of the page, you made a little insert about the ministry there. Or whether you know it or not. Right at the bottom, as you read that, right at the bottom, a little insert at the bottom. Now, that goes pretty near every language under heaven, you see, to, to be read around the world. 
Now, what, what, or you say, what would you say that, Brother Brandon, before you pray for the sick? It's because of this that we might know that our efforts are not in vain. See, we must approach God through that channel of love and faith. Faith takes us to the channel, love is the one takes us in. Pardon me. Now, do you think that God would, Alice, uh, your faith gets to the spot now. Do you think that, what would you think now if all of the efforts that the, this tabernacle and these groups of people here have put forth from the kingdom of God? There's many here that's found your children for the kingdom of God. There's many here that's gone without clothes for the kingdom of God. There's many who's rode through storms and walked with those shoes on their feet to get to the tabernacle of God. Right. For the kingdom of God. Could you imagine an artist painting a great picture, beautiful, till it's sublime, and then just tear it up? There'd be something wrong with the artist. Could you imagine a composer write a song until it's sublime, and then just tear his, his music up? There'd be something wrong with the composer. See? There's nothing wrong with God. God don't make a thing like this just to tear it up and throw it away. It's for his kingdom. It's for his glory. Each one of us play a part in this picture and in this song. We're parts of the kingdom of God. And that is that we can play our part as long as we realize where we are positionally belong in this place and then stay right there in that place. In one place we know it's in love because that's what makes us a picture. Amen. Now it's hard when you see these visions like this and things to understand what's, what's on the other side. I wish I know. The man gives this little insert down there to say that prophets of old, how they saw these visions and so forth, and how that the days beyond even what we can't understand it, but the Lord has let us press into that and to see what that is. Now, friends, I wasn't asleep and I just, between you and I and this church here, I wasn't in a vision. I don't know what a vision is. Some here, just last week, some of the things, 30 times a night it would happen. You can imagine the weight that's on you. It makes you nervous, of course. What if you went to a meeting like that and just the responsibility is the meeting went right or not was on you? Just the just responsibility. You got to answer each minister, each question, each everything. The meeting goes right or not. It lays this responsibility on you alone. Look what that would do to you. That's not my association. Just simply selling books and so forth. Gets nervous and has to go home. Lay down. Wouldn't come to church that night. Right. Oh, it's this church like my daughter-in-law, a lovely little Christian girl, Lord. Just, just the going in the meeting, just for, for eight weeks or seven weeks, constantly like that, just had to lay in bed for a day or two. Even no responsibility. Really, just to give out a few prayer cards, just toward me. But see, the whole weight lays up there. I have to depend on you to pray for me. Amen. Besides that, they claim that in 20 minutes of, of preaching under inspiration is compared with eight hours of hard work to your body. I preach in two to three hours a night, sometimes three times a day. See? And then what about one vision? One vision. They all Lord Jesus get weak. That's right. The Bible says, woman touched his God, made him get weak. Well, if one vision would make him weak in the Son of God, what about me, a sinner saved by grace? What would do 30 of them in one night? See, if, if we just stop and think it's beyond any human, a human body can't stand that. I'd be in the insane institution somewhere, but my head against the wall. See, if, if such a weakness that you can't, it's an inward weakness, see, that just kills you out. Now, but what would you pray then? I might say this, I see Brother and Sister Cox, they're rotting in his life. And sister, from back in there, new convert, there is a land just out there somewhere that if you ever, if you just think in your mind and get a view of it, it's the most glorious thing. It's worth ever, ever that we put forth. Now, for praise of the sick, I might say this. What if a little baby before it's born, let's take that, a little baby that's lived in the womb of the mother for these nine months, and that little baby could think. He would say, you know what? They tell me I'm fixing to be born. 
Well, what do I do out there? I don't know enough to do place that I live here. I drive my strength from inside. How do I make a living out there? They tell me there's a sun that shines. They tell me it's the people that walk around. And uh, I don't know nothing. Just this place here, this is all I know. Right here in the, in the womb of my mother. Just where I was brought in, here's all I know, right in this room. And they tell me that it's just a room kind of room. Well, that little baby be scared to death to be born. Is that right? It would be scared to death because it's coming into a place that knows nothing about, which is supreme. Millions of times supreme to where it's been living. They wouldn't know what it's all about. They'd say, what am I going to do? It'd be scared to death to be born. But we who live out here, well, we, as was back there one time, we would by no means go back there. We wouldn't go back to the mother's womb. No, we wouldn't want to do that. And that's just the way it is when we are dying, right? Oh, God. See, you're being born into a place. You've never been there. You can't understand it. How great is it? How? How's it going to be out there? I, and the only thing that makes me realize you're you, and I just that little touch of life, like the spirit coming into the baby and mother's womb. It's the only way that we can understand what is that great land I know. When there's no sickness, no sorrow, no death, no old age, no nothing. Oh, my. Well, when you once get over there, you never want to come back to a place like this. No more than a baby you want to go back to its mother's womb. See? It's so much greater on the other side. Out there, we can understand it certainly. We can, well, how that little baby is beyond any thinking, so are we beyond any understanding of what that would be out there, see? Because we're in the womb of the earth. Ready to be born sometimes into a new kingdom, into a new world. And that's the way, and I feel about those visions and things like that, or that whatever happened to me that day when I crossed over just on the outside and seen what that was and then come back to here. And, uh, could you imagine being a baby and, and uh, had a, a knowledge of how glorious this was to walk around and see the trees, the blooming, the birds the singing, and sunshine and a life like this and then had to be confined into a womb? Why, you wouldn't want to go back at all. Well, then we are, our thinking would be numb of the desire to try to think of what that is or that was Scripture says, I have not seen ears nor heard of it. He that has ever entered in the heart of man, what God has for them, who knows it's like. No, we know that it's glory from the other side. Someday, death, what we call death, will give us a new birth. And we'll come into the other world on the other side. Well, that's the way it is. That's the way it is. Brother Jonah said, you won't be old, creep around old over there. And you'll be the same age as you are now. And you'll be the same age as you are now. This old, this robe of flesh, I'll drop it right here and seize the everlasting crime and shout off passing through the air. Farewell, farewell. Amen. Amen. No, no more long nights of rain. No more. Just enter into that young, joyful age to be there. Not for just a year or 50 years or a million years. We'll be there 150 uh, years. We won't even be sorry at all. That's it. So why should we be happy this morning? Why should we rejoice? Why should we take uh, you know, advantage of every three things God has given us? Your divine healing. Why did Jesus strike? To tear the picture up and say, no such thing to it. He strikes his body down there and ribs show you that by his stripes we were healed. If God tear the picture up this morning, let's embrace it and set it. A brother and every one of you now is going to be prayed for. You just stand around the altar while the message went forth a few moments ago through interpretation and tongues that we lay hands on the sick and see the mighty works of God have an out. Our brother, you don't have to stand up, brother. I mean, you know, God, we'll come to you. But if there's any other should be prayed for, like to stand around the altar box, brother and I pray and lay hands on the sick. You come out on now. You remember, embrace that picture. By this, I wish we were healed. I don't understand it, Lord. Sure you are. You're still in the womb of the earth yet. But he made those preparations, and he wasn't taking. Why was he striking to tear the picture up or tear the song to throw it away? Oh, uh, he was striking, wounded, and blessed that we might be healed. And by that, we give Christ, we are healed. We ever was. Now, as you're coming, gather around the altar for prayer. Now, a lot of this here is super duper American evangelism, and talk about you got to do this, do that. 
One thing I want to be honest with you about, my friend. The same way God heals is on the basis of service to Him. Amen. It's on the basis of service to Him. We must accept our healing on the basis of we will serve Him after we are healed. Now, the Bible says, confess your faults one to another. Pray one for the other. Amen. You might be healed. It's on the basis you will serve God. And yet you hear perhaps you're in dying condition. And you, you must die if something doesn't take place. Then I want you in your heart. Now, we might anoint you with oil. We might pray over your pastor and I. Pray the prayer of faith to everything we can. But it won't do no good until you yourself enter into fellowship with Christ. Amen. You got to come to that fellowship. And she is the Methodist by faith. I believe that's right, it's just a spirit. Um, and she had a big lump in the side. See, Sister Weaver standing here is one of the bad cancer cases that I've ever seen in all of them. The first thing I asked her, would she be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ? When I took her just walking her head to hold her, she didn't see it. Her arm was just a little bit She was baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. That's the same thing. Ten years ago, I move. Spare life because she was willing to come in obedience. One of the very best of doctors around here. Well, her own doctor told me when I told him, he told us that she's healed. That oh, she'll die with cancer in a few weeks. Don't worry about that. She'll be gone. Another few weeks, she'll be gone. And it already just give her about a day to live. And here she is today after 16 years spending up the what more could it say over and over and over and over? Now, God just doesn't do that for one of his children and doesn't do it for another child. He does it for all of his children. Whosoever will may come if you're invited to him. Now, the prayer of faith shall save the sick. The Bible said that. Now, now if what I want you to do is confess your wrong to God and say, Lord, heal me. If you have never been converted, give your hearts to Christ. If you have never been baptized with water in the name of Jesus Christ, through the pool race. Amen. And this little lady across the street here, when that infidel there was converted by, when she's laying this in her home silver crest with TV dying. And when I went down there and the Lord gave a vision, said she's going to be healed, and he met me there the next morning, Mr. Andrews, and just bawled me out, said, a false hope like that upon that woman. I said, Mr. Andrews, it is not a false hope. The woman is a Christian, and when she gets able, she's coming to be baptized. And he said, she's dying. He said, I, how could she be sent home from Silvercrest? I said, sir, you're looking. You're what you're looking at. You're looking at what the doctor says. I'm looking at what God says. Amen. That's just a different what you're looking at. You look at what the doctor says, you sure will die. But you've got to look at what God said. Whose word are you going to take? What if Abraham would have took the doctor's opinion that him being 100 years old going to have a baby by his wife 90? What would he have done then? See why? The doctor said the man's crazy. But God imputed to him for righteousness because he believed God. Now you and the woman lived. She neglected being baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for all the things that happened. Methodist of Presbyterian, sorry, it's a sacred thing. And she come and got great weapons there, guys. Right? Live there, you're a daughter. come here and was baptized in the name of Jesus Christ with a fever, with diseases, the lumps broke out all over her shoulders, her thing with a fever 104. And was baptized right here in the name of Jesus Christ, and she lives just across the street. Maybe sitting here now, looking at me like here. Uh, it's obedient to be. It's not just. Going around, I tip them with some of our brothers, just laying hands on this, that, the other, like that, and sometimes a super duper faith to do it. That's not it. You've got to have genuine, solid Bible, and Holy Ghost faith. Amen. 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 It will not last. It's not last. It's the reason I can thank the Lord that He has helped me so far. The, the, the healing that's taken place has been genuine because it's genuine and still the all the stuff they have to Now, I just don't tell 
wait for fluctuations to believe on you. I will answer them with the armor that you gave to going. Their faith shall save the sick, and God shall raise them up. They that did any sin shall be forgiven. Them. Father, we go now to meet the enemy, to meet the lion, to meet the, the devil, whatever arm that he's in, called cancer, TB, autism disease, heart trouble, any other disease. We come to find him and bring him this land back to the house of God again. In the name of Jesus Christ, we go to use this slingshot that you have given us. Be with us, Father, as we reverently approach thee. In Jesus' name. I want you to keep your heads bowed, and we're coming to north with all and lay hands on the sick, and the prayer of faith shall save the sick. Every Christian in here, touch your faith.
as we close the church service, the word of prayer. Lord God, we thank you for the opportunity uh, to live in this mortal body. Once more, we thank Lord God for promising us in the resurrection. There is another body after this shadow. Father God will come out of this body. There is also the true funny. Thank you for the summer. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for dying for prayer on the caravan. We thank you this morning. Come and take us, Lord God, through once more. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray the living. Amen. Amen. Uh, God bless you. So, before we get into our speeches, we want to just to have an inspirational. Uh, one special from uh, Sister Dokas, Sisters, just one. Maybe after that, we get into a special by the grace of God. You may come forward and sing for us. Uh, Dokas, Sisters, come forward, come forward, and just have a special song before we get into our uh, speeches. Amen.
I never had a problem with that. Uh, during the time of this, I am happy that she has gone to heaven. I also want to thank my son in law for making this event possible. I want to say, uh, under may God bless you. May God bless you. I want to thank you for my and all my sons. No good for the wonderful work. I would want to say, Dokas, rest in peace. May God watch you bless you. Amen. Let's play dance for baby. May God watch you. I also want to thank you all of you who are gathered here. I just want to thank for a, for a wonderful unity. It's painful that we lost the us. Uh, however, I also want to thank God because that's the, our way to go. Uh, I also want to thank because Dokas uh, yet uh, morals, we want to thank God for that. I do not have much to say. I'm very sorry for the passing away of Dokas. Say Dokas, may your soul rest in peace. God bless you. Thank you very much, Mama. Thank you very much. Wonderful. Amen.
Uh, this time again, once more, we want to invite a uh, brother to talk us, uh, son of JJ. May God bless you. May you come forward, my brother. Tejara, Mugawia, Tinsbe, Matama, and Baba. God bless you. Firstly, I would want to thank my son-in-law, Brother Matwanyika. Okay. Can you please do not send my mama in Matwanyika? Secondly, I want to thank my mama Matwanyika. I want to I want to thank my sisters and everyone who have come to, for, to support. And I say, my sister, rest in peace. Uh, that's Yeah, she was a very nice person to every one of us, the whole family. Uh, we used to encourage each other, especially about praying, and when we are facing any difficulties, we would encourage each other. Yeah, because of that, I think she saved a purpose in this life. And uh, because the prophet says, if you save your purpose, uh, you will be resurrected again. Uh, because of that, I believe we will meet again with her. I also want to thank uh, the Nyandoro family for your cooperation. Uh, everything went well, as you can see. May God bless you. And to my Guru Dokas, I would want to say to my Guru Dokas, rest in eternal peace. Let's clap hands for Baba Mim. Wonderful words. Amen. May God bless you. May God be to bless you. Tumodaku Koka Sisi Vatokasi. Vawe Vasotaura. Sisi Vatokasi. Vawe Vasotaura. Nisha Zamai. God bless you. Uh, I greet you all in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, because I may say, Mr. Jesu Christu. On behalf of Family, we are here to say, you know, that we are not going to be able to say, I just want to say a little bit about my sister. 
Chichati taure zvisho mapamsoro pa Dokas. One thing that I would like to assure you. Pane chinhu cha ndinoda kukusimbisa imose. My sister was a Christian. Dokas akanga ari mutend. She was a real believer of this message of the hour. Anga achitonya tsova mutend akabere kwa patsa we maridzo ya tinotende ngo ya Christ. And one thing I would like you to know. Chimwe chinhu zvecha ndinoda kuti munzive. She was lovely and caring. Aiva neruto, aiva nehanya, aida wose. And this was a prayer warrior. She akare wakanga arimunu aiga la pamina mato. And she always taught her kids and us as family. Aiga la chiu zama na wake nesuse muri. But the prayer changes things. Achiti muna mato uno chinga chimiro chipishach. Even if you go in any situation. She sinai kutwa pinda mudambuti koripi. The prayer changes things. Ait muna mato ushandi say uno shandula say. This reminds me of the last song that we sang on the memory of my mother. Jino pasha chinti langari zaru wataka pesela kuimba panyara zia maivang. To pray and receive the power of prayer. Eh, taimba chiti na mata uchao na simba remuna ma. Of which I'd just like to say to my sister. May your soul rest in peace. Ah, Sisi, Zororai, Murugare. You fought a good fight. Makar wakur wakwa kanaka. And you left a legacy. Makasiya chimiro chakanaka. I think we just want to sing the song. Tingada zangu kuboimba kampoka diki. Nyengetera uboni simba romnamata. Amen. May God bless you. We thank uh, the God for the life that took us live. She left the legacy. God richly bless you. Amen. Once more, we want to hear a speech from the Sukuru. May you come forward and say something. Uh, uh, the Sukuru are took us. We are king from Sukuru. God bless you. And for some reason, at the back of my mind, I still think that one of those days when I walk into that house is going to be there. I remember it. She, she was very, she was, she was motherly, she was calm. And the last time we spoke, we had so many plans about her garden, her flowers. All I can say is this right for moment is, you know, Today, that one of these fine days, we will meet wherever she is and wherever she is also she is smiling at everyone. Yeah. 
May you rest in peace, Gogo. God bless you. Who is looking for Marwachi? Come to school. God bless you. Once again, come. The flowers are still there. Come and water them. God bless you. God bless you. The Muchi Nema Moko, the school Ivan Chido, Chico Diriza, Maruana Gogoaki, his name, we all did it. Maruana, Mari Akwitz, Sakanaka, Marako Fazi. Amen. So, Tichada, Kunzwa, Kuba, Ku Shamari. Kana mwa kizani wa sister Dokas, amen. Tina sister Charima, manga wia hamu wasuta wana. Sister Charima, yeshe zama ni come forward and do respect. Sister Charima wa chipeza, sister Kunyama, can you prepare for the speech and a special? God bless you. I want to thank the whole family who gave me this opportunity. I used to say to her, my chief, I still say that at this moment. I first knew her here in South Africa. To me, she was like a big sister. Uh, she was prepared to listen to me anytime. I told all moon, I eat chicken and chicha, or a wine detailer. Why is it right? Mother, I think I need to be honest. You can talk hours. She was somebody who loved talking. Uh, I, I remember with you, why did you tell me that my sermon? She used to send me some quotations, some sermons. And I would make sure I have to listen to them. And I told you, I told you, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, I have to make sure I have to give you a feedback and that's it. I'll come back to you in a while. And that's it. And that's what I'm saying. I'm going to talk to you in a while. I'm going to talk to you in a while. To us, we lost very much. And 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 we lost very much. I believe she's already in good hands with the Lord. And Father Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let's give you all the clap of money. May God bless you. God bless you, my sister. Amen. As we call upon Sister Kunyama, come forward and uh, give a speech and a special. God bless you. Sister Kunyama, she is a neighbor to the Mansuari Cafe. God bless you. It is quite an honor for me to tell you this morning. I talk about this morning. I talk about this morning. We are neighbors. We are actually a neighbor to me. We are actually a neighbor to me. We are a neighbor to me. She was a, a very loving person. My damn, why did she do? She was very badly, always happy. Moon, do I care? I can't combo no car. I just go far as I can. I can truly say she she lived a really peaceful life. Jinga da kut, bakanya tsora rama upenyu weji. Please be there with you. She really loved the music of the island. And she loved the Lord so much. So I just want to encourage everyone who is here this morning. As I will be singing this song, let's not lose our vision of Jesus Christ. Jokas loves me so much. And I believe one of the good things we are going to be saying together in glory. I just want to sing this song. Don't lose your vision of Jesus, keep your eyes ever on me. Many friends and dear loved ones have 
have lost their way. They have lost their reason of me. As I travel along this peaceful way, they are hiding and crying. Of Jesus and heaven, I obey. I easier to bear. Don't lose your vision of Jesus. God bless you, our neighbor, so that the brothers may God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. Once again, we are going to invite uh, a daughter to talk us. Cheryl, come forward and say something. God bless you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, So, all I wanted to say is, um, when my mother was still alive, I remember when William was still in the 10, 11, and 12. Um, I end up for my walks. Um, he used to go for walks um, with my mom all the time. And to be honest, I always used to say that um, and, uh, he was and when I got to grade 10, which was last year, I also had to and I used to enjoy it so much. Me and my mom even um, started 
on becoming great friends. Mama wangu, baka tanga kutuwa shamari yangu, chayo, 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 chayo. I'm going to tell you other secrets, yes, yes, yes. No, Siva, Taito Mbubo, one of my secrets, Taito Uza, and I'm my wangu. And to be honest, I'm my team, I'm not bad. Ah, Mbubo, Siva, Ndarasi Kiwa, Wakanyami. But, um, I'm really grateful to put Mama Molly and Jay for me. Ah, Ndiruku Farah, Zaganyanya, Nekuti, Mama Molly, Vari Post, Pandiri. Nikaona Mama Molly, Ndiyo, Patakona Mama Wangu. And also, there's also a lot of other things. But uh, when you move to South Africa... When you move to South Africa, when you move to South Africa, you move to South Africa. When you move to South Africa, 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 every single Saturday, Eh, Mukovera Weka Weka. Um, my mother used to make us listen to tapes and play at one o'clock in the afternoon. My Wangu Wai Garavata Titi, Father Wani, the Maska Tegaega, Motera Tapi, the Pinamat. And I hope that I'm going to be able to keep that to the key. Ah, you know, Shuri, and the Kutian, the Kutisha, one of the summoning now on the bed. The time with it. To become a prayer warrior like my mother. Put in Tose to your van, one of the kids, a Puna Matatose, says Aita Mama. And also to listen to a lot of things. Put it in your house, a car, a Kuterera, Marito, Temple of Vita. And also, I'd also like to thank my dad. Not a good thing, I'm a man who's a car. I'm a man who's 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 a man and I also always be a good girl. Thank you. Wonderful. Rebecca, that's uh, Sharon. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Amen. Keep that, my daughter. We love you. Thank you very much. Amen. What a speech. What a speech. Amen. May God richly bless you. Aiwa, Timothy, the school. Iko Zino. Tabaku da Kuchenda. Kunetimu Chikamu Chedu. Jinu watu kama cheku pezi sira cheku vuwa. Tenga mbwa na luka song shoma shoma esmo song. Just a little bit. Thank you, Mr. DJ. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, just a bit. Uh, may we call Molina? May you come forward by the grace of God. You may die in the car accident or something. Then you find that the arm is cut off of the head. Uh, Heroni has been crying, saying, No, Mama is gone. Uh, but he, the certain words uh, which he said, we thank God for Molina. Then they decide, I will now give you Molina, brother Matzvanika. I'll give you your children, I'll give you Molina as the mother of the kids. Molini, Achambosara, Achiva, Mari, Ruana. Name is Ratrikuti. We know you, Sarapara. Amen. The prayer has been answered by you. There is your mother. Shamae ngo itira mama. Shamae itira wana mama. She's going to take part of that. Amen. May God bless you as you sit down. God bless you. Thank you very much. We would want to... Unveiling of the store of the tombstone.
to workers and failing the tombstone by the grace of God. Do we go that side?
That's a masterpiece. So uh, this time around, those want to, we can come closer to the top, want to take pictures and want the children to come and press the flowers. The children may bring the flowers.
Dura Dura and Nano Sukisa. When 
Çiğdeki üç uçuz. Neyse kanka da değil. Neyse. these events to be successful. Amen. We want to thank you also Put Funeral Ministry Group. Let's clap hands for them. Yeah. Amen. You are wonderful. You are a ministry indeed. <laughs> thank you very much. Keep it up. You have been doing it wonderful. Amen. All our visitors, uh, our guests, may God bless you. We appreciate your presence here as the Madzivanik. On behalf of Madzivanika family, we say may God richly bless you. Without you, Tingalai Tisina Chunu Chakanaka Chataburiza, but your participation uh, made it possible. May God richly bless you. Tinora Mbatakata Risira Kunu. Uh, we would want to ask our precious brother, Brother Bonya, to come and be close with a word of prayer for us as we uh, part. Let us stand to our feet and pray. Let us all stand to our feet. Um, our gracious Heavenly Father, we want to thank you, Lord Jesus, for being with us throughout this occasion. Father God, we just want to bring all the glory and the honor back to you. The Mazevanika family has done this great occasion of putting down the memorial for our beloved sister Dorcas. May this be a remembrance and a memorial for, for the generations that are to come if we are still in this earthly journey, so that when the kids and the grandchildren come to this site, they can always bring to their remembrance the good work that our sister has done. Bless the family, bless everyone present here this morning. As we'll be parting to our respective places, Lord, we say, May you grant us traveling mercies, O oh Father. Those that will be traveling long distances, those that will be going back home to Zimbabwe, be with them, O oh Father. If we don't meet this side, we know that we will meet on the other side. You commit everything into your capable hands, believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Amen. We thank God. That's the end of our program. May God bless you. Moja tatua patuze za kushika. Mari akutufadze maravisha shakanaka. TJ, God bless you. Thank you very much. We are done. Thank you. Oh, 